new campus to provide comprehensive care for Sudanese children without parents. Taiba Education City will house 600 orphans and also benefit 6,000 disadvantaged individuals in the surrounding area. The project in Omdurman, Sudan's most populated city, includes an elementary school, high school, library, computer labs, health center, dining and activities halls, sports facilities and a dormitory. Qatar Charity, a Shining World Compassionate Award laureate, is the sponsor of the 9,000 square meter development, which will be the largest such campus for orphans in Sudan. Construction is expected to be completed in September 2020, and students are currently being selected in coordination with the Ministry of Education and Higher Education. Good job, Qatar Charity, on establishing a new city for education. In the overflowing love of Allah, may all students be blessed with peace and prosperity. Ruling Belgian monarch has conceded his predecessor's wrongdoing. For the 60th anniversary of the country's independence on June 30, 2020, King Philippe of Belgium penned a letter to the President of Congo. Alluding to the suffering of the Congolese citizens in colonial times, His Majesty wrote, I would like to express my deepest regrets for those wounds of the past, the pain of which is today revived by the discrimination that is still all too present in our societies. Your Majesty, King Philippe of Belgium, we applaud your kind-hearted and sensitive remarks. May your example inspire other chiefs of state to reflect on their legacies and take steps to advance a new era of equality in celestial oneness. Scientists develop alternative pollination method in Japan. With bees and other insect species in decline, it is increasingly important that we find new ways to pollinate crops. Transferring pollen manually is labor-intensive and robotics have thus far proven to be imprecise and damaging to flowers. And so, a team at the Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology searched for a convenient vehicle that would be effective yet delicate. Their experiments led them to blowing soap bubbles laced with pollen at pear blossoms, which later yielded fruit about 95% of the time. The approach has some drawbacks since rain and wind can interfere with the process, but the researchers are encouraged to evolve the idea into a reliable and large-scale system. Amazing news! Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. We welcome your creative thinking as we pray for the resilience of the world's insects in heaven's blessings. New South Wales, Australia creates national park to protect wildlife and promote biodiversity. The state government has purchased 1,534 square kilometers of private land that includes floodplains, wetlands, and landscapes unique to the national park system. The area is home to more than 25 threatened animal species such as the grey grass wren, grey falcon, red throat, and Australian bustard. The Tibubora Local Aboriginal Land Council has been invited to suggest a name for the new park. New South Wales is a Shining World Leadership Award for Protection recipient and a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion and Caring Laureate. Our heartfelt appreciation, Government of New South Wales, for your far-sighted investment in the future. May your wisdom and kindness be emulated for the protection of all earthlings in the light of the divine. Young boy reads storybooks for other children. In spring 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic closed schools and libraries in Brooklyn, New York, USA, seven-year-old Brian Rumfeld spent more time reading at home. Observing this, his grandmother asked if she could record him telling a story. The child agreed and after watching the video of himself, asked her to please post it on Facebook. Thus, Brian's book Corner was born. So far, the webpage has collected more than 3,000 members and hundreds of positive comments. Talking about the project, the first grader explained, I love reading books and I wanted to help kids that couldn't read or wanted to hear stories while they are stuck at home. Way to go, Brian Rumfeld and family, for your service to others. May all young children stay active and safe in heaven's jubilance. Chinese supermarkets welcome meatless burgers from United States. 
Los Angeles-based Beyond Meat first introduced its products to China in the second quarter of 2020 through Starbucks, KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut outlets. Now the company is bringing its animal-free burger parties into 50 fresh Ipo supermarkets in Shanghai, with the possibility of expanding to more than 200 additional locations starting in September. Dietary guidelines issued by the country's health ministry in 2016 urged citizens to reduce their consumption of meat by 50%. Since then, people have been sensitized to the consequences of eating animals and have embraced alternative protein products. Congratulations, Beyond Meat, on your successful retail product launch. May delicious and nutritious plant-based products such as yours hasten the arrival of World Vegan in the regions of the Providence. Finnish study shows coronavirus has distinctive scent. Researchers at the University of Helsinki had previously trained dogs to spot different kinds of cancer. In a recent pilot program, canines quickly learned to identify people who are infected with COVID-19. The results were actually more accurate than other testing methods that rely on molecular analysis. In the next phase, scientists will trial the four-legged detectives again, using many more patient samples and a randomized method that will minimize the possibility of biased findings. In the near future, our furry friends may be called on to screen people in nursing homes or at airports. Free cheers for University of Helsinki researchers and the heaven-sent hounds. May our world soon realize how blessed it is by all the incredible animals.